As much as we appreciate the bright colors, roaring engine, and sleek design of supercars, sometimes unexpected things can and will happen. Whether it's an unruly passerby or just plain carelessness, you're not going to want to miss out on these unfortunate moments. Let's get it on! Unfortunately, humans are very jealous creatures. There are those who can't stand seeing someone else with something nice. This Lamborghini owner came face to face with one of the more extreme green-eyed monsters. This man wasn't going to let the beautiful car pass by without throwing a rock at it. You can't tell how much damage he did, but it couldn't have been good. Oh. Makes you wonder how he'd react if the car belonged to him, if only the poor driver had taken a different road. In a list of crimes against supercars, this has got to be one of the strangest. Hey! Oh, Baba Bowie. What do you do if you want to let someone know you're jealous of their Ferrari, but all you have on you is a couple of cheese slices? Well, this person decided a cheese slice was actually the ideal weapon. It's not so bad, really. He gets to express his frustration, the car wasn't damaged, and the cheese played along by satisfyingly sticking to the side of the car. Still very petty, though. You guys are Dover Brothers? Yeah. <laughs> Some people just have way too much money to know what to do with. Jake Paul clearly fits that statement perfectly. Unfortunately, this means the car has to suffer. Sure, it might be his own Ferrari he's destroying. It wasn't, but there's got to be something better to do with it, like donating it to one of us. At least we'd take care of it. No scissors. <laughs> no, 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 you won't. You won't. You won't. Why? If you've worked hard enough to finally be able to afford a real supercar, you're going to want to show it off. A good way of doing this is by posing with it. Sure, you don't often see car owners sitting on their expensive purchase, but it's theirs and they can do with it what they like, right? There's only one problem with this video. The car isn't his. Manufacturers might need to start thinking about some kind of anti-pedestrian defense systems. Some people just love tempting fate. They call it living life on the edge, but it's more like the edge of ignorance. These guys were playing dangerously close to this Porsche on their bikes. Let's face it, something was bound to go wrong eventually. And of course, one guy did eventually hit the back of the car. I wouldn't be so comfortable getting my face on camera if I'd driven my bike into an expensive car. No, I could crazy. Most people will never know what it's like to own a supercar, but I think this video gives you a look into the good life, and it seems surprisingly stressful. The owners of this car must spend a lot of time looking over their shoulder in case someone decides to do something crazy. This guy must have been looking for attention. Why else would you run on top of a car? It's so weird, even the owner gave up trying to do something about it. I know what you're thinking. A shiny new Porsche Taycan is a very tempting purchase, but before you think about buying one for yourself, it would probably be helpful to invest in a couple of driving lessons first. You definitely don't want to be behind the wheel of one if you aren't certain of your driving abilities, especially if you haven't actually bought it yet. I think we can agree, the worst possible place to crash your brand new car is inside the showroom. He never even got to show it off. There are all kinds of things that can go wrong when you're driving, but they don't usually end like this. Nobody wants to flip their car over, but that's especially true of anyone who owns a G-Wagon. I don't know what happened here, but there's every chance that the driver was trying a risky stunt they're not qualified to attempt in a top-heavy car. It's a bit late to learn your lesson when your car's already lying on its side. Lucky for them, there was a whole group of people around kind enough to help get the car back on its feet, or it might have just sat there tipped over forever. There are some streets around the globe that are synonymous with supercar enthusiasts. You know the ones. The people who live on those streets, however, don't always share the same appreciation for the cars like we do, though. This Ferrari driver found that out the hard way when someone decided to display their disapproval by throwing an egg at her. Driving with the top down isn't always fun, it turns out. Let's just hope that most of the eggs stayed on the outside. Accidents happen, but hopefully none of us will ever have to deal with an accident that's quite as expensive as this one. Somebody had a bad day. Oh. My. I'm not sure how a Ferrari could go straight through the front of a transport truck. I can only guess that someone forgot to put the handbrake on. Whatever the cause, you can bet it was one foolish mistake that caused this disaster. How the car is still in one piece is the real mystery, though. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. 
There are so many great places to have a party that we'll never even know them all. Either way, this guy definitely should have looked a bit harder. There are better places to dance than on the top of a Rolls Royce. He looks like he's on top of the world, but he's definitely going to regret the whole thing later. The most we can hope for is that it's his own car he's ruining and not someone else's or he's definitely in big trouble. Anyone who owns a Rolls Royce is going to expect everyone to respect their car as much as they do. What I'm really trying to say is, it's probably not a good idea to leave your coffee cup on the bonnet of one. They're not made to be tables, but interestingly, they have some hidden design features that are pretty great for annoying passersby who like to take advantage of their square shape. You can almost hear the owners laughing. <laughs> We'd all love a sports car. Some people work their whole lives for one, but the thing is, because it takes so long to get your hands on one, most people aren't really used to a car with that sort of power when they finally manage to take one home. They don't drive like a normal car either. They're also so fast that they can get much further than a normal car before you can even react and fix what you've done. He never thought he'd regret getting that car. No! Supercars are great, but a custom wrapped one is even greater. I guess when you drive an expensive car, it pays to be careful. Otherwise, you'll end up with something looking like this. All that hard work turning a Lamborghini Urus pink only for it to be crashed into and towed on top of a tow truck. It's literally the definition of disappointment. My question is, what the hell? BMX riders are known for being able to do tricks on just about anything they can find. But just because you can, it doesn't mean you should. This guy thought it would be fun to use a sports car as a ramp. Unfortunately for him, he didn't check if the driver had a dash cam. <laughs> Big mistake. A bit of fun isn't worth paying off the damages of a car you don't even own in the first place. You can tell you're having a terrible day if your car breaks down, but if your car happens to be a McLaren, that makes the whole thing so much worse. It's never fun to have to push your car home, but it's extra embarrassing if you were riding a sports car around a couple of seconds ago. And to make matters worse, he's got to push it all on his own. I guess there's always a silver lining. At least it wasn't raining. 4x4s are the ultimate car for anyone who likes to enjoy a bit of adventure. But sometimes, things get a little bit out of hand. This person took their car out into the sand dunes for a bit of adrenaline-inducing fun, but he must have forgotten he wasn't alone. He went over the top of this dune and found himself inches away from hitting not only another car, but the person standing next to it. <laughs> Little did he know he was inches away from disaster. That was close. Floods are always terrible, but they're extra terrible if you drive your expensive BMW into the middle of a flooded road. There's no way of knowing if the car was parked there or if the driver drove into it, but either way, it's not looking good. Wait for the moment where the driver tries to uselessly scoop the water out of the car with a cup, like they're on a sinking raft. It's so hopeless that it's actually okay to laugh again. So, you finally bought yourself a brand new shiny yellow Ferrari. You're officially living the dream. Unfortunately, the dream is about to turn into a nightmare. This delivery truck wasn't entirely equipped to handle this sports car. The poor car was just seconds away from safety when the lift gave out. The hope in moments like this is always that the car gets out of it unscathed, but it doesn't look like this car owner was quite so lucky this time.